and it's custom made incense in the incense shop and a little bit of magic talk today with dreams we have one of our shopkeepers who makes incense with me I'm gonna let her take over for now go ahead well i recall this dream that i had uh seeing this gentleman just recently today on the street brought back a dream who was the who was the guy the gentleman i don't know who this man is um was it one of the neighbors it's or, a neighbor uh, of, of yours yes oh two what this guy two doors up or the guy two, right next door no two doors in through the backyard oh the bald guy the bald, like, oh, the bald the Arabic guy yeah oh Arabic. okay yeah uh, it was him hmm. standing on this, on another street. Like it didn't hit me. I've seen this man walk in his yard before, and it I, I, the dream never came to me until I seen him on the street mm -hmm. downtown. <laughs> then it all came to me. There were myself, you, and another witch around this huge cauldron by a tree mm -hmm. with a long branch that came over the cauldron. That makes sense because being around trees is extremely spiritual practice when you're working with high spirits were we what were we doing for the cauldron well we had caught we obviously have i don't know what to call them so i'm gonna say worker bees okay. who went and gathered this gentleman mm -hmm. and brought him to the cauldron tied up other people you mean like yes. that work for us well that would be i think uh, there were two gentlemen that's actually we, we call them in the magic world like a minion or something i was going to say minion effect. but yeah. i was choosing not to use the word minion <laughs> something to that effect but yes there yeah. were two male minions okay. who brought this male and yeah they're always male tied up <laughs> and gagged standing at the cauldron hmm. and in the meantime we were adding our things into our cauldron hmm. <laughs> and you and I collaborated on what we were going to do with this man because of what he, his, whatever, whatever mm -hmm. he committed. Yeah. The crimes he committed. He wasn't being punished, I guess, in the real world. Right. So we were going to take over the punishment hmm. for him. What did we look like? Can you remember that much? Like you we were, were beautiful. We were really beautiful, which is... <laughs> We were really beautiful. What, what, we had what, what, long, what? brown, wavy hair. Oh, right, naturally. <laughs> I believe mine was long. Mm -hmm. Could have been blonde. I really don't recall me too much because I, you know, mm -hmm. I look out at the scene. Yeah, of course. I'm not looking at. Yeah, we don't always me. look I don't in look the mirror at, and at the inside, right? Yeah. So I'm looking outward. Of course. And you and I collaborate what we were, the punishment was, and we had to go to the third witch. You actually, you did. Hmm. I stood on the one side of the cauldron. You walked around to talk to the third witch. And what did she look like? Was she tall too, or you don't remember? She seemed maybe a little chubbier. Mm -hmm. I think she had reddish hair, short reddish hair. Yeah. We were all very beautiful witches anyway, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get over on how the, the beautiful we were. And our of course. And our clothing. We were just... Because we were in a spirit realm, maybe. Yes. I don't know. I don't know, but we were all this about ourselves. This might be a past my... life dream for you, because I have, you know, something to add to this later. You're making me think. Yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Sorry. And um, she and you both agreed. Okay, we all, all three of us agreed. He was to be hung from the branch. <laughs> so the two minions helped gather the man to as close as he could to the branch. That they threw the rope over, mm -hmm. and the two of you started hoisting. And the <laughs> minion is helping you hoist them up <laughs> right over the cauldron, oh head Lord. first, upside down, like a you know a bat would hang. <laughs> Still gagged. Some people I'd like to do that too. <laughs> Still gagged. And we were going to dip him however many times he committed this crime. Hmm. For each soul he touched in a right. wrong way, right. he was going to be dipped into this cauldron. And I don't know I'm what like happened. Like the lake after of that. fire, if you ask me. Oh my God. Yeah, I don't know uh, what happened after that. Yeah. I don't remember the after. Like, hmm. did we take him out? Is he, did he live? I mean, he's walking down the street. Hmm. So, how. It's weird how he looked exactly the way he looked. I know. Don't you wish you could just show somebody your dream exactly the way yes. it was? I know. Yeah. I wish we could video record it and hieroglyph it onto a window or something, you know, mm -hmm. or whatever that's called. A window somehow. Hologram. Hologram. Set, yeah. Hologram it. Yeah, not hologram. Yeah. Hologram it. That would be awesome. Right. I bet they already had that technology, but they don't say nothing. Mm -hmm. 
bitches. I bet Joe Rogan would say that too. The military too. does, I'm sure. Oh, I bet they do. All that Come mind control stuff they used to do. Uh, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. Why was that? Well, with your dream there, that's strange because I I was told by another a man psychic, and I was on one of the shows the one evening. I'm not going to mention right now on my channel because I'm not in contact with him. I did send him an email a little bit a couple days ago. Um, the guest on the show told me, I asked him a question about something, and he told me I sat with a blonde hair, blue eyed, very evil witch back in the 1800s with a hoochie coochie type. Uh, I think that's the name he used. If I'm wrong, I'll correct it and I'll leave it in the comment section and I'll, you know, pin it to the page uh, so people can find the correct name. I'm pretty sure that's what he used terminology. So if I sat with this evil witch and she had blonde hair, blue eyes, and it, you're right now in my waking life circle, the only one I could figure could be, or the priestess that I know, that I already introduced you to, so you two also too, sorry, has to remain nameless for the time being. We don't mention names on the channel right now, but we're allowed to be and stuff like that. So that's what, that's weird. What if it is a past life thing that you're opening up to and showing what we did. What if we tortured that guy and it wasn't a crime, actually, but your dream is telling you it is. No, but I felt it in the dream. Yeah. You, you feel like You feel the, it's not just an all knowing in the dream. It's because uh, you're in the spirit realm. Well, so yeah. So you have the answer kind probably, of per se. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? 